Today we're going to be doing another writing assignment. I'm going to walk you through an example of writing a new narrative story. Remember we talked about that narrative writing is where you write about something that happened and you talk about um, the order it happened, like this happened first, this happened next, this happened last. Um, and the story that we're going to write about today is connected to the book, When Daddy's Truck Picks Me Up, which I hope that you read. It's a story about a boy that's real excited um, about the day that his dad would come pick him up. So inspired by that, I have come up with a writing prompt that will give you a chance to write about something that you like to do with your mom or dad or both. Okay, so here's the writing prompt. And it's always a wise idea with a writing prompt to uh, take it apart and to look at all the pieces of what we need to be sure to do. Okay, so what we do is we look for the action word, the verb, first. Okay, it says write about something you like to do with your dad, mom, or both, okay? So write is our action word, our verb, so I'm gonna circle that, and then I'm gonna underline the rest of that sentence so we know what are we gonna write about. Okay, and I'm gonna put a one above that because that's the first thing we need to do. Okay, and then it says tell what you do Tell what you do first, next, and last. I'm going to circle the word tell and underline what comes after that. Because tell is something you can do, so it's a verb, it's an action word. So after we, we write about something we like to do, then we're going to tell about what you do first, next, and last. So I'm going to put a two there because that's another important thing that we have to do in our writing. Then the next one says, tell how it makes you feel. Tell again is another verb, so I'm going to circle it and underline the rest of the sentence and put a three above it. Okay, so tell how it makes you feel. And then my last sentence says, draw a picture to go with it. Okay, so I'm going to circle draw, because draw is something you can do, it's a verb, and underline the rest of the sentence and put a four above that. Okay, so let's look at the prompt again to make sure that we know exactly what we're going to have to write. It says write about something you like to do with your dad, mom, or both. So think in your head, what are some things you like to do with them? Maybe you like to read books with them. Maybe you like to go um, on a bike ride with them. Maybe you like to play a board game with them or make a puzzle with them. Okay, so think about something that you like to do. And you could pick something that, like the boy, it was something about his dad. Or you could pick something that you do with your mom or maybe both of them. I think for mine, I'm going to do both of my parents. Okay, and then it says tell what you do first, next, and last. Okay, so remember you're going to tell it in order. You're telling a story of what you do first, what you do next, and then what you do last. And then it says tell how it makes you feel. Like you remember in our last story where we were talking about when we were tired at the end, I said... Um, then I felt better. So it's like, how does it make you feel doing this with your parent? And then, as always, we need to draw a picture to go with it. Remember, our picture needs to show something that we talk about in the story. They have to match, okay? So I'm thinking in my head, one of the things I like to do with my parents is I like to go out to lunch with them. Now, my parents don't live with me, so... Um, Right now, unfortunately, I can't do this because you know how we all need to stay safe at home right now. But I'm thinking about um, what I used to like to do with them and what I'm hoping I get to do with them again soon when um, things get better. Okay, so I have my writing paper. Here's my writing paper. 
Okay, and I'm going to start out with saying, I like, I bet we know how to spell that, I like, I, space, I like to, space, go, boy, I bet you know all of these words, like to go to, Notice my space is between my words, and then I don't think I have enough space. Whoops. I don't have enough space on this line, so I'm not going to try to cram it in. I'm just going to go to the next line. I like to go to lunch. Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh. And lunch. Remember, that's C-H. Lunch with wa. I, remember is th with my. You should know how to spell my. My mom, my um, and dad. Period. Okay. First. Now there's a period, so I'm going to start a new sentence. So I need to capitalize that first sentence. I mean the first word of the sentence. Okay, first, f, first, comma. I'm going to give you some of these sentence starters when I send the paper to you. First, I, I, p, p, pick. I'm going to say pick, p, ick, p, ick, pick. This is one of those where the CK works together to make the cuff sound. Pick them, space, the, 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 th, eh, 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 them, uh, up, up. First I picked them up. Now, friends, you couldn't do it, my copy my story, right? It wouldn't make any sense because you can't go pick your parents up, right? You don't drive a car, I hope. So uh, you... You need to write your own story. It's not going to be just like mine. Nobody's it's going to be exactly the same. Okay, so first I pick them up. And then I'm going to say next. Na. X. X, X, X. That's the X, right? Next. Next. We. We. Space go. T-O, capital. I'm going to say the name of a restaurant that I know my parents love to go to. And because it's a special name of a restaurant, I'm going to make it a capital. Panera. I don't know if you've ever been there. Panera. Panera. Okay, next we... So, so let's let's see how what I got so far. I like to go to lunch with my mom and dad. First, I pick them up. Next, we go to Panera. Last, 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 last. We, we. Eat, eat. Okay, I think I'm gonna have. I want to say eat sandwiches, and I think there's no space there, so I'm going to not put it there. I'm going to put it on another paper. Oops. We eat sandwiches. I'm gonna continue on this paper. We eat sandwiches. And wa i i i i i ch 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 c h e s. We eat last. We eat sandwiches, and then I'm gonna say how I feel about all this. I fa feel happy. It makes me happy to go take my parents out to lunch. It makes me feel happy. Happy. A P P Y exclamation point. So let's look at my whole story before I start to draw. C 
see if I remembered everything. I've been trying really hard to make capitals at the beginning of my sentences, spaces between my words, punctuation at the end of my sentences, like a period or an exclamation point or a question mark. Okay, so I said, I like to go to lunch with my mom and dad. First, I pick them up. Next, we go to Panera. Last, we eat sandwiches. I feel happy. Okay, so then the next thing I need to do is to draw a picture. Now, I could draw a picture only about this, right? So it could be our eating lunch. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll draw a picture of the table. I drew a table, then maybe I don't have to draw um, our whole bodies. Maybe I'll just have us sitting at the table. Okay, I'll put myself in the middle. Okay, put myself in the middle with my curly hair. My eyes. My smile. Okay, I'm going to put, oh, I can't remember my nose. Okay, I'm going to put my, my mom and dad. My mom's got straighter hair than me. So I'm going to put her straighter hair. Okay, okay there's my mom. And I'm going to put my dad. <laughs> I got to think about how am I going to draw them to look different. <laughs> Here's my dad. You know what? My dad doesn't have much hair, so maybe I won't put hair on him. <laughs> and you'll know it's my dad. Okay. So there's us at the table. I could put some plates in front of us, maybe. I could put some cups. You know, we like to sometimes eat outside where there's an umbrella. So maybe I'll even draw like the umbrella above us. Yeah, could put the sandwiches on the plates. Um, I could make it a nice day. Some clouds, right? Okay, so you can see that I drew it first. We have our plates and our cups and things. So now I want to make it come to life, right? So I need to add some colors. I'm going to color my hair and my mom's hair. I may not be an artist, but I sure am trying my hardest. I'm going to put some smiles on her faces. All right. Um, let's see. We can make the plates. Uh, we can make the plates on the background of the sandwiches. So remember that when we're doing our artwork that we don't want to just color color everything one color. You wouldn't want to just draw this in purple and color everything purple because that's not how life is. Everything's not in purple. So um, you know what I think maybe I can't remember they might have like kind of wooden tables there. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna make it make it brown the table and I'm just kind of coloring around my pieces. Okay, I might make my sandwiches brown too on the plates. I have no idea what color their umbrella is, but I'll just pick something. Can't really remember, but that's okay. I might just make it like a turquoise or something. It may not be right, but I'm trying my best. I'm trying to make it have some personality. 
because remember that your drawing is, is helping tell the story. So I didn't say in the story that we often sat outside, but now you can tell we do because I am showing you it in my, in my picture, right? Okay. Um, that cloud's probably a little, too, a little too low to the ground, isn't it? Oh, well, if I was using a pencil, I would probably erase that. But you know what? I tried my best. Oh, you know what? That blue is too close to the blue of the um, umbrella. So I, you know what? I might just go over that cloud so you don't really see it. So, and then remember shading is good where you put your crayon to the side because then you can kind of go around things better rather than coloring on top of it all. Okay. So there we are sitting outside. And I could also color our clothes, right? Coloring our clothes would be good to add more details and color to the picture to help tell the story. Okay. All right. And let's see. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be the exact color of a shirt that your family wears. You know, you're just trying, trying your best to jazz it up. Okay, so that's kind of a quick drawing, but you can see that I used a lot of details that I, I have our plates with food on them. I have the umbrella over the table. I have um, glasses we're drinking. I made the sky, it was nice blue sky with clouds and and I put clothing on, on the people, hair and eyes and and nose on the people. So it helps to tell the story because the main idea of my story is that I like to take them to lunch. Okay, friends, so I will give you this assignment on um, Google Classroom and I will give you some of the sentence starters to help you write it because I know you're new to writing narrative. And I look forward to reading your stories.